We're going to quickly cover how you can use Cloudscape to plan for performance as well as size things like private clouds or assist you when you do a data center migration, not just when you want to go to a public cloud. So I'm going to use our cloud infrastructure as a service cost again uh, here. And so I click that app and it's going to open uh, our application. Again, here we can see all of our servers. Uh, we can see different cloud providers. But for this, for this demonstration, what we're going to do is we're going to filter down here and just go based on usage. And let's just pick one provider so that we can get all of our servers or several of our servers on this page. So you can see here, I don't have some performance data. So these are likely VMs that were uh, shut down. But I do have some with performance data. So here's where I'm going to show you how you can use this to uh, stack performance I.O. so that you get the right size of new environment uh, if you're going to consolidate. So again, if you're moving to a private cloud or you're just concerned about stacking individual workloads within a data center or well, here we go, we're going to check and look at uh, a couple of servers. Let's pick this one and we'll pick this one and we'll pick uh, this one. Now, when I selected these servers, you saw that they populated here on the left. And what I can do within each of these servers is select from any of the metrics that I have for that server. So CPU, disk, memory, network. Depending on what we have, we may even have power, resource usage, etc. So I'm going to pick CPU. It's a simple one to do. And I'm going to pick megahertz during the interval. And I'm going to pick the total instance. So that will give me the, the rolled up amount for all of those individual instances. And I can see here that this individual server used uh, its average, the, the highest its average had was 358 uh, megahertz. If I switch to max, I can see, wow, it's up to 4.7 gigahertz. Okay, so that one's actually using a lot when I switch to max, okay? Uh, what I'm going to do now is stack another one on top of it. So I want to consolidate these two servers on the same ESX host or the same... Uh, Hyper-V uh, cluster, so I want to get these together. So here we go, I'm going to select another server. Okay. And you can see now I'm, I'm laying that on top of it. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to do one more just so that we have three here. Now this can be done across physical and virtual. So there's no limitation here that you have to stack virtual machines. You could be stacking physical and virtual machines at the same time. And again, here we have our stacked I.O. You can hide any one of these by clicking on the button here to hide it. You can also adjust the time frames that you want to look at if you don't want the full time. I'm going to switch to max because that's a really good one to see. And again, you can see here that uh, we're still looking at about 4.8 gigahertz worth of CPU that we're going to need uh, across all the cores that are available to us. If I wanted to understand what percentage of that total resource each of these servers are taking up, I can switch to what we call an expanded um, view. And I can see that, you know, my, my Windows 2008 R2 server is taking up 60% of those resources. So if I des des define a resource group, that's the one I'm going to want to keep in there. The really nice thing is I can continue to add statistics to this. So if I want to look at disk I.O. over the same time, I can just add disk I.O. in. And I'm going to do it for all of these. And what it's doing is it's actually creating another little tab here for me. Um, we've normalized these statistics. So if I compare them across different types of devices, like, again, a physical or virtual machine, if it's the same statistic, we're going to uh, show it in the same chart for you. So you don't have to try and translate. And now I'm going to click here and see what I've got. Um, and I don't have much, right? Um, I have uh, I.O. here that's very low on these individual servers. And if I, again, expand it, I can see the percentage that each of them take. So it's a great way for me to plan for the maximum I.O. I need for things like disk and CPU and memory usage.